Well, many of you know the formula for Coca-Cola originated in Atlanta. You know, mm -hmm. Atlanta has bragging rights on yeah. that. But here in Chattanooga, we have something special too. Our city is home to the very first Coca-Cola bottler. Our Elise Wick visited the Coca-Cola bottling plant to celebrate a very special day. Coca-Cola bottling company will help paint the town red, celebrating 123 years of bottling history. We are the first ever Coca-Cola bottler and we were established uh, July 21st, 1899. And here we are 123 years later celebrating this beautiful anniversary. Coca-Cola Bottling Company United is celebrating its bottling anniversary with the help of the Chattanooga community. Luis Mora, the key account manager for the Tennessee Valley Division, says serving the community is one of the company's core priorities. Partners like Champies, Rock City, and even the Chattanooga Airport will join in on the celebration. We're going to be giving 123 customers at Rock City, Ruby Falls, and the Tennessee Aquarium free Coke. In addition, we're going to be giving the first 123 customers that step into Food City and the first 123 passengers that arrive at the Chattanooga Airport a free Coke as well. Groups and businesses are wearing red Coca-Cola Our Town shirts and are encouraged to post on social media to celebrate the day. We always want uh, Chattanooga and, and just anywhere in general is hashtag Coca-Cola Our Town. So I want people to get creative with it, have fun with it. This is a day to celebrate Coca-Cola and all our partners. The original formula may have been created in Atlanta, but it was bottled and rolled out right here in Chattanooga. In April of 2021, nearly 6,200 units were bottled per hour in the scenic city. As we know, uh, Chattanooga is a Coke town and we are proud to call Chattanooga our town. The Coca-Cola Bottling Company United is encouraging the community to join in on the fun using the hashtag Coca-Cola Our Town to paint the town red, one sip at a time. Reporting in Chattanooga, Elise Zwick, Local 3 News.